as my first tour, I did not complete. For example, I did come to this tree, Yagap tree generation uh, plant. And I committed myself to come back because I'm looking for a lasting solution for uh, supply of affordable, reliable, clean, and modern energy to the people of West Nile. So I've come here to interact with the developers of uh, this plant to see what the challenges are so that we together we can work on the challenges so that we can supply this uh, reliable and affordable power to the people of West Nile. I am happy so far with what I've seen. The work is not that easy. There is a lot of uh, uh, work that is being, that is, uh, being done, uh, laying of pipe in the rocks, protection of the, the, the access roads and all that I have seen and uh, I am happy to note that uh, they are that the contractors are putting in mind the commissioning date of the project and they are requesting us to assist them get funds you know because this is uh, a, 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 a project which is owned by a consortium the government is in it and uh, therefore as shareholders we need to make sure that we do our role in providing for funds so that we see the results if you want the cow to give you milk you have to feed it so that you can get the milk COVID-19 made us in the cabinet to uh, propose budget suppression by 40% across but the ministries were supposed to guide the Minister of Finance on where to cut so that we don't end up cutting budgets or suppressing budgets for projects which have contractual obligations like this one. So what I will do is to go back, sit with finance, so I want to, to, to call for priority because electricity is the key in all sectors they want electricity. Schools want electricity, hospitals want electricity. So we need to put money into electricity generation, transmission, and distribution. So I want power from Nyagap 3, 6.6 .6 megawatts, to be evacuated and then distributed to the people of West Nile. And it's going to be cheap power, 5.73 uh, US cents per unit. 
that is that is at least affordable if we are talking about affordability. This power generated from here is one of the cheapest, you know, power that government can offer. We are calling investors. We want to establish industrial parks in West Nile. And uh, I have a directive from the president to supply power to industrial parks at five cents, five American cents. So such plants will help me uh, fulfill the president's directive. You supply consistently for only a short period, then you go into, you know, a king. So we want to uh, help Electromax to make sure that they have uh, some way of uh, assisting them to have constant supply of fuel. So Electromax needs assistance. We as government have to come in. And this is an interim measure, short-term measure. The long-term measure, long-term solution is the Nyagak. Make sure that Nyagak 1 generates three. For me, I am pursuing a long-term solution to power supply in West Nile. That is enhancing hydropower generation, make sure that evacuation plan is completed, transmission line is constructed. We are going to evacuate power from here, Nyagak 3 to Nyagak 1, and then from Nyagak 1 we see that power through Nepi or Arua substation. So we will be having a long-term solution. This war on record, Electromax, that is short term. We need to give long term good solution to the people of West Nile. And I am promising them that it will happen. substation at what percentage are we? Overall percentage. We can tell it up to 32 to 35 percent. 35 percent. But for the next uh, three months the schedule will be going up to 80 percent. Next yeah. three months. Yeah. Three months. Because supplies all the supply has been designed and completed and they are on 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 ship or they are on the verge of ships. So there is progress but uh, we, we are going to be consistent in doing our work of oversight. So following, there are two issues. One, there is the long-term solution to stable and industrial electricity in this region. The long-term solution is this one. But recently, there was a problem of the short-term solution because there was power blackout consistently for three weeks. And then to one month, there were issues. People were not working, there was a lot of noise in town, there was issues of insecurity, equipment were being destroyed because of the unstable electricity, the cost of doing business was going high, there were issues of insecurity because of blackouts. So as, as leaders from the region we had to raise the matter. We met the minister and the minister promised she would come to the region and look at some of the issues, both short term and long term. So I am glad today she was able to go to Nyagak and they see it for herself, though she did not come here. So for us, we have now come to do our oversight work. We have seen what they are doing. This Christmas period, 
we are going to bring here the last mile beneficiaries of this project. The people of West Nile who stay out there, who have not been updated of what is taking place here. So we want to mobilize the debt, we want to bring all the potential investors in West Nile to come and see and appreciate. If you're in Ajumani, you have your money to put up a factory in Arua. If you're in Zombo, you have your money to come and put up a processing plant. If you are outside there, but you can come back and be able to put money, invest, and therefore use this electricity to employ the youth. We want to appoint one day in this Christmas break. We want to bring all those stakeholders to come and see what is taking place, appreciate what is here, so that we move together. Because it's not a one-man show. It will not solve our problem in the long term. Because we want an industrially reliable, 